Make sure you're really used to taking all formulas down to y equals mx plus c. That is a core skill that they're going to be testing in this general and practical principles of physics exam. Okay, so this one really is quite a straightforward one, I think. It's just actually a bit of a definition of what an LDR is and link that to what you're seeing in this um, diagram here. So, light intensity varies with distance from a light bulb, fine. Notice it doesn't tell you which direction light intensity goes. Um, and explain why the resistance R will increase as it gets further away. Well, first mark is just for stating what happens to an LDR with changing, changing light intensity. LDR's resistances increases if light intensity decreases. So that is just actually memorized really if I've got resistance and light intensity, I'll use I rather than L for luminosity, um, then it decreases like this. It decreases exponentially. Okay, well, um, how do we know that the light intensity is going to decrease? Well, because it gets further away from the bulb. So we need to state that. So light intensity decreases as distance increases. Didn't need to state it for this mark, nor that, but of course, light intensity varies with an inverse square law. Okay, um, next point then. These two things kind of add up to this relationship. You need to kind of get that, you just need to be able to manipulate this. K and P are constants. The relationship between R and D is given by this. Explain why a graph of ln R against ln D should give a straight line. Well, the first step is to take logs of the whole equation. So you need to know a little bit about your log laws here. Ln R equals ln K plus P ln D. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you all. If you're not absolutely sure about that, you want to do a little bit of practice. Um, now that is, they're asking me about ln R against ln D. Well, okay, well, this is the Y variable. This is a constant, I'm told K and P are constants. So that's my Y intercept. This is my X ln D, and this is my gradient P. So essentially what I'm gonna have here is I'm gonna have a line where ln, oh sorry, P is the gradient, ln D is the X variable, and ln K is the Y intercept. The next thing you've got to do is actually go ahead and plot that graph. Okay, so before you do that, you've got to get yourself ln r and you've got to get yourself ln d. So which one am I going to put on the x-axis? Ln d. So I'll do that first. So you've been given data to three sig figs, so you should really give your answers to three sig figs as well. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and plot. You can write ln of D, which is in millimeters. You can write ln of R, which is in kilo ohms. So in other words, it's ln of Resistance, if I wanted to get resistance back, then I'd know my resistance was in kilo ohms. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and plot my points. So yes, that comes out of a straight line. So they're looking for data and to the correct sig figs, and they're looking for your scales, units of your logged variables, the um, accurate plotting to within one small square or one millimeter it would be actually, which would be half a small square, an A-level, 
and line of best fit drawn with as many above as there are below. Okay, moving on. Determine the mathematical relationship between R and D. So in other words, that is find yourself a gradient. Firstly, whenever you're doing gradients, use the largest triangle that you can fit on the range of the graph. And use the line, not the point. And if you use a sensible number like that, so your dx is 1, then it should be a lot easier to calculate a gradient. Okay, the gradient won't have a unit because it's log log. Okay, now I can look back at my previous relationship that I've worked out. Well, y is mx plus c, or in other words, lunar is 1.2 lun um, d plus lun k. Okay, so what I need to do next is work out K and as that is a constant and that will give me the mathematical relationship in its entirety between R and D. Then 5.5 .5 is 1.2 ln 2.6 plus ln K. So now work out what ln K is. That's a grill, that basically. Not point five five eight one. I'll just keep some six figs now whilst I just do e to the power of my answer, and it gives me one point seven four seven four seven to so one point seven five which is close enough to my final answer. Then, then lastly, put it all back into this relationship here. So R is 1.75 D to the power of 1.2. Okay, that is the mathematical relationship between R and D. Now I think in the real paper, they are going to give you some form of resolve for a straight line. It might be an exponential, it might be a power law. If it's a power law, you use log log graphs. That's what this one was. If it's an exponential, then you just log the y variable.